Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm here back inside Roblox Studio. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a very own team only door. So, let's get into the video. So, the first thing we need to do is make sure we're in the models tab up here. So, let's click that. Go over to this little icon here saying service. If you click on it, then you can see this new window up here. And then you should see this folder here called Teams. If you click on it, and then click Insert. Then you should see this new folder up here inside the Explorer window. So if you click on this folder, click the plus, add in a team. And then we can customise it. So if you click on Team and go to Properties. And then if we click Name, I'm going to rename this team to Red. And then change colour to really red. Then once you've done that, then we can click the plus in workspace. Add in a part. But then once you have your part, we can customise it. Make sure it's anchored. We can resize it. And then we can also change the colour. There we go. So if we just rename this part to red door like this or whatever team color you have for example it could be blue door green door red door or anything like that so if you click the door click plus then add in a script we could type in local debounce equals to false go down twice and type in script dot parent touched colon connect two brackets and then function once again two more brackets and then you can type in hit go down and a new end should appear with a bracket then if you go down and type in if hit dot parent colon find first child brackets and speech marks and then we can type in humanoid with capital H. Outside these brackets, we can type in and debounce equals equals to false. Then go down. Now we can type in is local player equals to game dot players colon get player from character. Then two brackets. In between these brackets, we can type in hit dot parent and then go down. Then we could go down and type in if player dot team equals equals to game dot teams dot red or whatever colour team you have. And then then go down. And now we can type in script dot parent dot Transparency equals to 0 0.5. Go down. Then script dot parent dot can collide equals to false. Once again, go down. And now, if we add in a weight, two brackets, and then add in whatever time you want. So I'm going to be waiting five seconds. Go down and then type in script dot parent dot transparency equals to zero then script dot parent dot can collide equals to true then underneath that we could go down and type in debounce equals to false though just one more thing we need to do is underneath this if hit dot parent find first child humanoid and debounce equals equals to false then we can go down, then we can type in debounce equals to true, and then that should be your entire script done. If we close it off and click play, and once we've loaded into the game, you can see that we're on the red team. And once we walk into a red door, then you can see that we can walk through it, and after five seconds, then it should close the door like this. And if we just quickly stop the game, and if we add in another team, then once again click play. So now that one with the blue team, and try walking into the door, 
then you can see that I can't walk through it. And guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If this video really helped, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. And also, I've released a new game on Roblox called Patches Playhouse. And you can also join my Roblox group and Discord server. And I'll see you later. Bye!